hi, Libra. A little smudge, a little sage smudge to clear out the negative energies. Thank you, Spirit. Three chimes to bring in good energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your birth chart, please know that this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Always trust your intuition. Always listen to your inner voice, your inner being. Anytime that we go against our inner voice, our inner being, um, the situation is really not going to work out well. Um, our inner voice, our inner wisdom is there for a reason. It's there to guide us. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Libra. Libra, if this is your first time tuning in, do know that this top row here is your uh, public life, your work life, your professional life, the energy surrounding your public self. And the second row here is your home life, your personal life, your pro private life, um, energy surrounding your private life, uh, family, friends, uh, Potential love interest, partners, husbands, wives, many times will show up there. Children will show up there. And sometimes even pets will show up there. And in this final row, we have final thoughts, final messages from spirit. What is it that spirit would like you to know or to be aware of or take away from this reading? And many times we will find that this final row does bring the entire reading together. The foundation, the basis of this reading is the Eight of Swords. The never-ending story, the never-ending saga, it continues, it continues, and you don't see a way out. The struggle continues. And that is followed by the three of, or that is forced or backed by the three of cups, the celebration of the harvest, a joyful time. Missing the joyful times, missing the happy times. Let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading here, Libra. That was interesting. The never-ending story, the missing the happy times. We start off with the justice card, which is news. Start off with news. The Ace of Wands, passion, fire, desire, following our passions, following our desires. The Chariot card, which is, I like to call this the ultimate victory card. And the Seven of Cups, wanting it all, having it all, receiving it all. This is your time, Libra, to form long-term working relationships, long-term commitments, long-term long-term commitments. And to form team alliances. And I think that these team alliances are in both love and business. But since this is your top row, let's talk about 
forming long-term alliances, long-term commitments in business. That if there has been a job or a position for that you've been wanting to apply for or if you've been wanting to create a business or take on a business partner, now is the time to form those relationships. Or maybe you're in a business or you're in a career that you've been wanting to rework or you've been wanting to revamp or maybe renegotiate your position. Whatever it is that you're wanting to create here, Libra, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. When we get stuck, when we get stuck in the past, it hinders our ability to move forward. And you maybe have been considering this or wanting to ask for this, but you've been feeling stuck and Spirit is encouraging you to ask, encouraging you to initiate this conversation, and encouraging you to ask for what it is. Follow your passion, follow your heart's desires, and make a decision. Make a solid, concrete decision and commit to that decision to move forward. And it's okay to think outside of the box. You know, Libra, you are a very forward-thinking sign. And you do like to have things There's no such thing as a sure thing, Libra. There's no such thing as a sure thing. There is going to be a swift change that brings in good news. And as soon as you hear that good news, act on it. Act on it. Strike while the iron is hot. Strike why the iron is hot and ask for what it is that you want. Negotiate for what it is that you want or create what it is that you would like to create. I don't know if it's you're wanting to rework your uh, current position, if you're wanting to revamp how the organization does something, if you're wanting to apply for a business loan or if you're wanting to apply for a new job. Now is your time to do that. You have the energy, a positive energy surrounding you to where you have a positive outcome, but you need to ask. You need not to let the past keep you stuck. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles really is about being in the zone and really doing a task, not necessarily for the monetary returns or for the physical returns, or but doing a task simply for the experience simply for the love of doing that task. The star card, taking from the, bring, taking from the spiritual and giving to the physical, taking from the, in, taking from the unseen and creating in the seen. The Eight of Cups, moving into the great 
unknown. An ending. An ending from a beginning. The beginning of the end. The end is the beginning. Not only are you experiencing the positive energy of the solar eclipse, I do know that the solar eclipse um, is April 8th, and it will be the only full solar eclipse of the year. But we will experience the energy of that solar eclipse for the week before, the week of, and the week after. So when this video goes out, you will still be feeling the ex the energy of that solar eclipse. And those around you are also experiencing the energy of that solar eclipse. And so they have good news. They have good news. And this good news does deal with finances. And this good news that they have or they bring in about finances is going to alleviate a lot of the pressure that you have been experiencing in your home life, in your family life, in your personal life. And when you're experiencing that positive energy and they are experiencing that positive energy, that is the time to create a new common goal. And a new common goal that will keep you both on the same page later in the year. So set goals now that you can work towards and have a plan for. So um, if a bump in the road should happen or if there's a change in plans, at least we're working towards a common goal. At least we have this to fall back on. Then we have the Ace of Cups. Emotional, spiritual fulfillment, victory, family gatherings, meetings, being in the public eye, and the king of wands, being reserved about our passion. spirit. Libra, people who cannot, people who cannot believe in themselves, cannot believe in others. And it is up to us to believe in ourselves. When others try to make us feel small, it is from their lack of belief in themselves. And because we are social beings, it can wear on us when we are in the presence of or surround ourselves with people who do not have belief or faith in themselves. And they try to uh, project that on us. It is important that we don't let other people's fears dictate our lives. And it is important 
that we feed our minds and we feed our spirits with the energy and the words that encourage us to follow our passion, to follow our heart's desires. And that is the message that I have for Libra. Thank you, Libra. You have a blessed week.